walked our Montana McLaughlin through their security process and she joins us live at the fairgrounds with more Montana. Yes, yeah, Steve Laurel, this is where the Missoula County Elections Office moves their headquarters during voting season. Uh, you can even drop off your absentee ballot here in a little box during after hours. Now, the election office tells me that they have yielded several phone calls already from voters this year concerned with voter fraud. But folks that I spoke with today had some mixed opinions. Election season's coming down to the wire. And this is a very important election, very important. Sandra Wade's a Missoula County voter. She wants to volunteer her time this election to make sure voter fraud is kept at bay. It's a concern I have. It has been done in the past, which means it can be done again. But Missoula County elections officials say, Elections, this is Phyllis. Not to worry. Missoula County, um, along with all the other counties in Montana, have to follow the uh, voting systems and guides that's provided by the Secretary of State's office, and it requires rigorous testing of equipment before an election. Rebecca Connors oversees the process. She's been with the office since 2011 and says she's never had any confirmed cases of voter fraud. We do all of our testing in-house. We don't depend on any of the vendors. She says the Secretary of State tests each machine before it's given to the counties. After these voting machines are approved by the Secretary of State, they're kept in a secure warehouse where elections officials need special security security clearance to access them. County officials say they test the machines again before election day. Um, we want to make sure our programming is correct, that the, the candidate that's aligned with the oval, that it's counting those correctly. And there's a lot of people involved to make sure that this all happens correctly. Other voters say they trust the system. No, I'm not worried about voter fraud. It's not really something that comes across my mind when I think about the authenticity of my vote. In no way, shape, or form am I worried about voter fraud. As for Sandra. It does happen around the country, and I can see it possibly happening here. She and the elections office say they'll continue to do their part to fix any inconsistencies before Election Day. Now, the elections office says that the only mix-ups that they can remember are when a father and son vote who both have the same name. But if you would like to learn more about this process for yourself, the elections office is holding a pre-testing on November 2nd that is open to the public, and it will go for three days. Reporting live in Missoula, Montana McLaughlin, NBC Montana. Thank you, Montana. You can find details about the election pre-test on our website at NBCMontana.com. There you will also find our complete election coverage. Just follow the Decision 24-7.